Let's see, so it's 524 and we need to go talk to the smoker on the balcony after nine. So let's uh, continue to explore around and see what we can find in day two, including some more cash. I don't think those are gonna work. Wait, what's this? Did we interact with this before? Why is there just money there? <laughs> Did I miss that before? Interesting. Okay. Um, there's the artist. And then there's Joyce, right? And then also... Kuo... I never know how to say it. Kuno's... Kuno's, uh leader there we should probably talk to you at some point kun kunes kunis kunesa watch it kim the other thing that's a bit weird is um it still says i should talk to kim and get a a, a briefing or something yes have a confession <laughs> that's right i keep forgetting we are actually the murderer tell me about the case again what do you want to know? Good. I don't want to let- I still don't want to lead on that we don't remember anything! <laughs> Just an ordinary war. Nothing to see here. Ah, conceptualization check. Plus two, Cindy's artistic impulses are infectious. Okay, hold on. Conceptualization. Let's see if we can get some help with this. Right now we're at plus one from the white satin shirt. I could, I was going to say, I don't think the white tank top is going to help us with our conceptualization. Oh, there we go. The lounge jacket. That's good. Okay. Just an ordinary war. Nothing to see here. So it went up 11%. Excellent. Let's go for it. Yeah. Why? It's a war. An ordinary war. Why must we stop to look at this wall every time we pass by? We have business to attend to. Listen, Cam, I know you're not very imaginative, but I am. Okay. Uh, should we change it up? Nah. I like the cloak. I like... I like our style that we've that we've established. We're gonna stick with that. Maybe tomorrow we'll switch it up. Although, to be honest with you, I like, and I don't want an answer on this or anything, but like, I don't know how many days there are. I don't know how this, like maybe there won't be tomorrow. Hello again, officers. Have you come to admire my mural? Um, okay. Wasn't there something... I feel like there was something... that reminded... us of her. Was it the gun? Anyways, let's ask her about something that we haven't asked about before. The other thing is, like, should I be... asking these questions again? I, I don't know. Is that uh, bed in the coal room yours? Oh, not only have you found my address, you've discovered my biggest secret. I'm a coal miner. Hmm. And an artist. That's like a, it's a whole, totally different skill set. She does have eyes that seem to be smeared with coal. Uh, really? You're a miner? Don't you have a real home? It's not the nicest place, but I guess it'll have to do. Really? You're a miner? Yes, I keep hoping a shaft will collapse on me, but somehow it never happens. Hmm. It's not the nicest place, but I guess it'll have to do. It doesn't have to do anything at all. Nothing does. Like me. Right now, I'm doing nothing at all. She looks at the paint dripping down the wall. 
The inspiration will come to her once hell is set loose on the streets. It's too calm right now. Oh. Okay. Cool, I have other questions. Shoot, Piggy. It's what you do, isn't it? So you won't talk about the murder, but maybe you can tell us something about the murder victim's missing armor? Oh, is it the armor? What do I care about some fucking tin eggshells? Hmm. Isn't armor art? Art for the um, body? Yeah, I don't think she's going to buy this, but we'll try. Ugh, all right. Sad piggy. I'll give you this one. I saw a little girl in the fishing village running around with military-grade handwear. Look cute as hell. In the fishing village? If you haven't been there, the village is a shithole down the coast from the main plaza. Have a good time. She waves her hand in a general westward direction. Is that across the bridge, I guess? And there's a little girl wearing the gloves there. No, no. That's all the snitching Cindy the Skull does for today. Actually, I don't even know why I told you what I just told you. She knows that we're an artist also. A cop artist. I mean, pop artist. I have a weakness for animals. It's the animal thing again. Damn it. She looks at you a little sad suddenly. Or a weakness for police officers, miss. Thank you either way. Makes note in his notebook. Okay. Catch you later, Cindy. Wait, why is there... Why does it do that sometimes? It's It acts like there's a new item. Maybe because I changed clothes or something. Okay, find the armored gloves. Ask the little girl in the fishing village down the coast who knows something about the armored gloves. Fishing village. Fisherman's, fisherman's shacks. Yeah, there's the bridge. Have I, like... I'm gonna have to go back down there and... and and uh, search some more. What is this craziness? I wonder if I've like missed some, some stuff. <laughs> or maybe some stuff has opened up. I'm still debating like I'm really, I really don't know if I want to do this. Um, Open the apartment door. Let's see what she has to say. She, he did, Everett did say to talk to her. Shadows in the water, green plants under the calm surface. You're back. Good. What can I help you with? Not an umbrella, I hope. I don't need one myself, you see. She pats her wet raincoat. Um... <laughs> Neither do I. Pat your similarly wet cloak. Very rugged. Good choice. Now, I suspect you had questions. Nothing like talking to pass a rainy day. Am I right? Uh, by the way, I've talked to Everett. Do you know something about this, these tattoos? Let's try the tattoos first. That's the man who was killed. I'm afraid this is a discussion for once we've cleared the lynching question. She almost takes the photo, but then stops. Why? How is you looking at the photo tied to the lynching? It's a photo of the victim? So you know something about the tattoos? Better not tie the fourth day to the bat's day on this. I hope there is something else I can help you with. She wants to answer the question. Protocol keeps her from it. Right. Can I ask her again? That's the man who was killed. I'm afraid this is a discussion for once we've cleared the lynching question. Let's just try the other option. Why? How is you looking at the photo tied to the lynching? Better not tie the force. She wants to answer the question. Protocol keeps her from it. Same thing. By the way, I've talked to Everett Claire. You have? And how did you like Mr. Claire? I didn't. He's a beautiful man. Beautiful and just. I wouldn't describe him as beautiful. I'm not talking about like physically or anything. I just mean he seems like a pretty slimy person. 
Everard Claire is a hero of the workers' movement. He is the champion I've sworn fealty to. <laughs> Just put it right out there. Ugh. He's a bloated rainbow socialist. I could do business with him. For a socialist, he's reasonable. He's not the champion I have chosen. I wish to swear fealty to you and the cause of capital. I didn't. I didn't like him. Oh, come on now. He has his uses. How else would he have stayed in power all these years? Or wait, actually... She answers her own question. Corruption. That's how he's done it. Fantastic, verm-like corruption. Reaching into the bowels of the earth. She looks at the ground and nods. It's kind of like, I guess, I guess we would kind of respect his hustle though, right? Given our character. But we don't need to like someone personally to... Um, respect their abilities, you know? The position of my unusual colleague does not reflect official policy. I hope you understand. The RCM does not pick sides. Hmm. Of course. And I don't expect you to share anything he told you with me. I am not a corrupt verm myself. She turns However, to you. you felt like discussing something. He wanted us to, he said he wanted us to talk to her, right? Um, he's being very obvious about it, though, so maybe it was like a test. How could I stop you? Are we not human? Are we not curious to hear another person's take? It's only natural. We would only be gossiping. I do like the idea of playing these. Tr I don't think we're sophisticated enough to, to actually succeed in this, but I do like the idea of our character trying to play the two sides off each other and profiting off of it. Intellectually speaking, it would be quite interesting to hear what she has to say about these things. Mm -hmm. Tell her she'll like you for it. Watch her chemistry. Maybe she's got some speed. Yes, your disgusting necktie agrees completely. Let's gossip. <laughs> that money you gave me, would that make things weird if I shared information? I mean, no, let's not bring that up. Mr. Everard is helping me find my gun. I helped him turn up the heat on the borscht. <laughs> yeah, he's helping us, helping me find my gun. Oh. That's so helpful of him. Her eyes become large and round. The lieutenant looks at you, and <laughs> you can swear his jaw muscle is trembling. That's so stupid. <laughs> I love it. He's able to contain the anger and surprise. When I said be wacky, I didn't mean wildly, grossly irresponsible and damaging to the RCM. I'm sorry, Esprit de Car. Unconventional police officers sometimes lose their guns. They then go around and tell people about this to gauge their reactions. It's all part of detecting. Oh, right. We were supposed to be like suave with her, right? Oh, well. Incredible. Simply incredible. And how is it going? Has this detecting produced a gun? Mr. Everard is helping me find my gun. <laughs> it's the same thing. Um, Mr. Everard says it's almost ready to be found soon. Did he now? Well, then it should be any day now. Unless, of course, he's no. lying to you. I don't think so. Anyway, was there anything else you've heard? I don't think he's lying to us. Um, I helped him turn up the heat on the borscht. Did you now? What sort of borscht is he making? She's intrigued, if a little confused. The cook makes it to keep the strike strikers drunk, helps them strike. The strike brew. That's a classic. And by turn up the heat, I presume you mean put more alcohol in it? So obviously, yes. Why, if I may ask, why make them more drunk? Aren't they corked enough already? Yes, detective. What were you hoping to accomplish with this strange thing? Uh, I didn't really think that far ahead. An act born of sympathy for the working man. I set fire to the fumes of struggle. I worship Al Ghul in many ways. <laughs> it's uninteresting. I thought it would make uh, the broth taste better. I worship Al Ghul in many ways. Very curious. A very curious thing to do. She blinks both eyes. Truly, but that's how he operates. 
He just does things, man. And then talks about them, even if it's inappropriate. Kim, listen, we've got you to do the standard shit, and we've got me to do the cool shit. The, the shit that actually gets results. What has Kim done in this investigation? I'm the one doing everything. A strange equanimity has overtaken the lieutenant. He's just going with the flow now. Easier that way. Equanimity. I'm a, I don't know what that word means, but I'm assuming it means like, um, it just, it just doesn't care anymore. Like, um, yeah, going with the flow. What else? Um. Hmm. Hmm. I don't really want to ask this. Let me talk about something else for now, if you don't mind. Of course, detective. Should something come up later down the road, don't be afraid to drop by for a chat. We weren't able to mention the door, eh? Until then, is there anything I can help you with? Maybe she's got more money. The lorries are still stuck at the roundabout. If the police is asking, one of the drivers might admit to it. Oh. There's that driver, right? That we had a check with? There's also that racist. I don't know what this means. I've made up my mind about did we not did we not commit to doing it? She simply nods. I think we're done talking to her for now. Let's go talk to Kuness. Kunoes. Hello? I think, like, um, the first day everywhere I went was, like, someplace new. But now we're... Now that I've, like... Chris gonna have a fucking heart attack? Wait, what? Now that we've uh, done all that, it's gonna be harder to like find new things to do. Trying to sneak up on me again? Trying to snuff me out? Get away, pig! Okay. Was down here? Was this locked? This must be it. The basement door is weather-worn. The copper nails holding the upholstery in place have turned green from sea air. Oh. And there's a knocker shaped like a lion's head. Oh, this is it. <sighs> to press our ear against the door. The door is slick with rain. You don't hear any movement inside. In fact, it's oddly silent in the yard around you. No birds chirp. Okay, what did we just get? Indirect modes of taxation. Okay. Let's knock. You knock silently. The upholstery muffles the sound. No response comes from the apartment. I guess no one is in. The tail looks uncomfortable. I feel uncomfortable. You feel eyes on you watching you from the window overlooking the yard. I feel, yeah, I, 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 this is good. I'm glad we can ask him about this. Lieutenant, what is your opinion of this task we're undertaking? Let's be honest. This isn't what I joined the RCM for, but every day tells you something new about yourself. Lieutenant replies, still inspecting the padded door. Apparently, working with the local union boss to get info on an investigation is not something I'm squeamish about. So you don't mind if I unlock the door? I mind that the local thug is using the RCM for his busy work. But if this gets us to the bottom of this hanging, then I'm willing to look over it. Okay, 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 okay. On the other hand, we could just leave and tell Evrat we opened the door. No one seems to be tailing us to see if we actually did it. Lie to Evrat, that's also an option? Yes, presenting a fabrication is known to get results here and there. You took this task. You make the call. The door is right here. You can just open it and be done with this. Besides, if you never open it, you're never going to find out what's behind the door. 
Shit. You try to be as silent as you can. It takes a bit of rattling of the handle to loosen the bolt. Finally, the door unlocks with a small clack. Thoughts race through your head. That's what did it for me. I was like, that's true. I could find out what's in there. The sound of the key turning still echoes in the yard. Hopefully no one heard. Well, buddy, you opened it. No need to go inside. It would be rude. Only curiosity could account for stepping over that threshold. Maybe there's treasure in there. A white alligator. A fountain of quicksilver. Or it could be the uh, working girl's husband. It could, could be like the clue that we need to crack this case. Indirect modes of taxation. Turns out those financial oversight committee gangsters stuffed millions of hard-earned dividends away in the last place anyone thought to look. The hearts and minds of everyday River Sholians. You need to spread that deregulation gospel to the people. Tell them about that foreign fair tax. Preach that 98% gross burden. Preach it, preacher man. Set the brothers free. Taxes are racist. Taxes are racist, okay. Uh, ultra liberal dialogue options give plus one real. <laughs> what? Minus one empathy. Thinks he's a hustler or something. Okay. And then we're at 46% for the precarious world. Okay. We unlocked the door. We're going in. Maybe I should equip the flashlight here. I mean, it's not really dark, but... Maybe in the darker areas I'll spot something? Oh, I need that. I'm not gonna... Uh, oh, yeah, let's use one. Like, I don't know why I was uh, <laughs> thinking so hard about that. It's just I don't want to waste these because we could just rest, right? A small suitcase full of clothes. Guests are staying over. Okay. Book titled The Hidden World of Walking Sticks lies open. Is this related to that, 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 remember the stick thing? The reed? The reed creature? Can almost feel the warmth of the red sun on the flag. This is the flag of Rivershaw, the suzerainty. Oh, I just, I guess I didn't really notice it before that the color of the thought corresponds to the, uh, the skill. Uh, what's with the sun? This isn't just one sun, but there are little suns dancing around the big sun. This is the sevenfold sun miracle. What's the sevenfold sun miracle? It's an optical atmospheric anomaly the first settlers saw. Happens in cold weather. Six small suns around the big one. This complex halo phenomena is how old Revachol got its flag. It is but one of the many strange optic atmospheric phenomena of this wondrous archipelago. You're sure you once saw sun dogs in your youth and blue flares. So we've got the old flag, uh, Lieutenant the Old Flag of Suzerain. Bow down before the flag. Let's just, let's point. Mm-hmm. The tenant is an old-fashioned guy. Bow down? I don't feel any desire to bow down to the flag. The flag doesn't seem to mind. It's just a colorful fabric 
with a sun sewn onto it. Like all feudal flags, it looks like a children's drawing. Hmm. They should have bowed down to the flag. Uh, Interisolary dress shirt. This looks like... Uh, maybe... Is it possible that moves? The smell of disinfectant in the room smells like chemicals. Whoever lives here admires fair-haired fantasy heroes with big muscles. <laughs> the the Hyamdale dude. A row of mugs sits on the shelf. Each one depicts a human figure. A dark-skinned woman grinning amidst mysterious symbols. A broad-shouldered man shoveling potatoes and others. Tap on the mugs. A little ring. Though cheerful, the images on the ceramic make you vaguely uncomfortable. Colonial mug collection. There's something disdainful in the way the curves and lines of the bodies were drawn. The images betray a lack of interest in human beings. They are merely unflattering caricatures. What do I mean uncomfortable? I just like, I don't know, the way that's worded is... What do I mean, uncomfortable? <laughs> Wouldn't I know what I mean? The owner of these mugs doesn't like people of other ethnicities very much. Hmm. Typical asshole. This person is unhappy. The lieutenant picks up one of the mugs, then puts it back down with a look of disdain. Me and you, Kim. I'm beginning to feel better about breaking into this man's apartment. Vaughn from the mugs. Ah, oh, man, I think this looks... Doesn't that look suspicious to you guys? I don't see anything else to interact with, though. All right, I should probably, yeah, let's, oh, I didn't look at the shirt. Preston spotless, gleaming white shirt, the kind that serious men wear at serious interstellary office. I don't know what that means either. Not yet, piss doctor comes in. Not yet. Can we wear it for a day? Can't say that was as exciting as I thought it would be. So what are we at here? 1800. I think I'd like to go check to the south. Also, we haven't been down there during the day, so maybe we'll see something different. And I want to talk to this guy again, too. There is a check with him, right? Empathy. Oh, no! We just lost someone empathy. Let's give it a go. Stuck in the rain in a traffic jam, man. What's on your mind? Mm. Got any smokes on you? Nope. Don't smoke. Nods towards the big lorry behind him. Some of the other drivers do, though. There's still a few around, waiting for the jam to disperse. Or waiting for the sweet release of death. Hey, isn't he, like, smoking right now? The smell is in the air. Um. Sure you smoke. You're smoking right now. Okay. But this is my last one, and it's a bad habit. You should quit before both of us have lung cancer. Okay. What do you see in his eyes? What do we see in his eyes? Come on, baby. 
ease into it. Don't go too far. That's my this seems like a person. Palm hitting my forehead. And now I'm dizzy because I hit myself really hard. Uh <laughs> Man, you look sad. What's going on with you? You really are the law, aren't you? I get that being bluntly observant and inquisitive comes with the territory, but it certainly doesn't help with your conversational skills, does it? No, we're not a very good conversationalist, that's for sure. Maybe the full-on direct approach wasn't correct. Damn, it's tricky business looking into someone's eyes and not doing it wrong. Why did the volume get quiet all of a sudden? Well, that's disappointing. Has anything changed with this person? The woman still had. Hmm. Dead end, still. Let's check to the south. Actually, you know what? I kind of want to uh, call that woman, the bartender. Inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone, a pull-out toolbox, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. I know she's not going to want to talk to us, but I think the application was that... Um, the the um, Hardy Boys were saying that the soldier that they killed had raped the bartender, maybe. Or assaulted her in some way. This is Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Um, please connect me to Sylvie again. Just a second, officer. Sylvie Malaika on the line for you, officer. Yes, hello? Um, hey Sylvie, it's the police again. Oh, great. What else do you need, detective? Um, hmm. I can't even... Uniform? I, I never saw you in any uniform. Somewhere in a dank rental apartment, two people. Oh, I saw One this before. God damn. Officer Michelle, okay. you hear the. Anything else I can help you with, officer? Uh, you find out more about the owner of the. I think I have to wait till tomorrow. Not yet. But I was able to convince the database people to serve private sector information. They promised to get back to me by tomorrow morning. Do you have any other questions? 57 no. over. We're done. In the cabin, you see a set. Okay, I think this is kind of the way it's going to be, unfortunately. Like, I, I got to check up on things. Is there boys? Oh, hello. Hello. 